Hi, I'm Tim Peterson. Right now we're gonna go over progressing to the half guard from the close guard, uh, mostly in the sense of you've tried your first passes and they weren't successful, so you staple down in the half guard and begin to use the movements that we've got, uh, covered in the half guard. Okay. So if I'm in my partner's close guard, this is not great. For however I got here, I need to not be doing that anymore. I get my support position and I start to work my way to opening up his guard. Keep in mind that from my hands to my feet and my hip, what I'm trying to do is create a long line of tension so that my partner's heels move away from his butt. Okay? That's why if this support position is slightly off and he pulls with his legs, what happens? His heels come toward his butt. So in the support position, when it's properly set, my partner pulls with his legs, his heels don't go towards his butt. Okay? Then I'm gonna exaggerate that by getting his heels all the way back and away from his butt making it much easier to pry open once I'm standing up. Okay, I walk my feet in, get my shoulders back and down. From here I start to open up his guard. And the first option is to keep this leg blocked out and to put my left knee towards the mat. And of course I'll get met with this push right here. If I get this knee down, then I would go to finish this specific guard path, bringing both legs through. If I don't get this knee down, What's likely to happen is this knee will now be free to come across and block my chest. I'll go to the leg weave whenever possible in order to respond to this. And now I need to get my right knee to the ground. Okay, but I run into the same problem. If Travis is insisting on pulling me up with his legs, my right knee won't actually make it to the mat. Not a problem though. I'm gonna set my knee on the mat and look to my right. And now what happens is, Travis's knee is folded down, and my right knee is on the floor. If Travis stays here, I'm gonna be able to get under his head and he finish his guard pass. So what usually happens is this knee slides through, and your partner concedes the half guard position, and they have to fight from here. using the double paw, straight arm bar, or trying to get the underhook with the top side arm bar here, okay? But the key is that I land in this half guard, I was in close guard, so I've made good progress. Try the first pass. Oh, my knee didn't make it. His leg comes across. Try the second pass. Oh, my knee didn't make it. Look to the right. Right knee to the ground. I can clear his leg. If it didn't clear, then as I come in for this cross face, he's gonna be moving his leg to the outside this way. Okay, and, and why is that? If his eyes are allowed to turn the opposite direction of his knees, that fault in his spine is gonna become really, really problematic as we continue to fight here. So if my partner is like this and has his knee, that's great for him. But if I get something that lets me turn his eyes the opposite direction of his knees, he no longer has any of that advantage. He has to concede this position to try and realign his spine, and that's my opportunity to really work to get ahead. Okay. So, kind of putting the first two passes into context, uh, you can't get the knee down, but you get into the half guard, and then you can look at the uh, techniques we've done from there for both the person who's on the bottom and the person who's passing on top for what can come off of that initial half guard position. If you want more videos, please click below to subscribe. If you wanna dive in deeper, you can click here to get a free video seminar I did of one of my favorite sequences uh, from standing to submission. And if you have any questions or anything you wanna see, please leave it in the comments below.